How's it going, guys? This is Lucian Sword, and I am very excited to be playing some Super Smash Bros. Ultimate for you guys today. Don't worry, I'm still going to be playing Brawlhalla, and if you don't know what Brawlhalla is because you're a Super Smash Bros. fan and you just happened across this video, Brawlhalla is an awesome 2D fighter, very similar to Super Smash Bros., but a little bit different. And the best part about it is it's free to play. And it's on every system, not just Nintendo Switch. So definitely check out Brawlhalla if you don't know what it is. Most of you guys probably are coming from Brawlhalla though into Smash. And you're probably wondering if it's uh, good, if it's worse. And I'll give my review at a later date, but today I just wanted to go ahead and start the adventure mode of Super Smash Bros. Ultimate with you guys. I haven't even begun the adventure mode. I have played a little bit of, uh, of this game, so I'm not going into this completely blind. I played for a few hours only, but without further ado, guys, let's go ahead and jump into adventure mode. The world of light. New game. I'm just going to go normal on this one because I'm not very good at Smash Bros, apparently. I was, like, struggling to kill a level 9 CPU earlier. I did manage to do it, but it's like, Don't wow. Don't let a single one get away. Cue the epic cutscene. This was actually released a little while ago, but if you haven't seen it, I'll shut up so you can enjoy it. It's pretty crazy. We'll each need to take down about ten. Stow your fears. It's now or never. We'll win this. I know we will. Shulk with a little premonition there. Even Zelda's shield, which reflects everything, is no match for the light. The only thing about this game too is you only start with like eight characters, but I've unlocked a lot. I've unlocked like, I don't know, like eight more maybe, but there's a total of I think 74 characters and like all my favorite ones I don't have yet, so it's kind of frustrating, but I think going through the World of Light uh, campaign or story mode or whatever you want to call this, I think I'll unlock most of them this way. So that's why I kind of want to do it together with you guys. Look at Kirby go. Go, Kirby! Kirby, you're the only one who didn't get captured by the light, man. You're a boss. Oh, wow. So, not just a world of light, but a galaxy of light? Thus, the universe was crushed in the hands of Galim. Oh, okay, the whole universe. Those who fought the light were devoured. The others lost their bodies and became spirits. Except for Kirby! <laughs> it's funny seeing Kirby in like a real world like this. Looks like he's on Mars or something. Only one survived. A star of hope twinkles faintly as the dust settles on this new world. This new world looks pretty dope, actually. Let's do it. Oh, I can skip? I won't skip. I won't skip. I waited a long time for this game. I want to see exactly what's going on here. Ooh. Dumping liquid gold on top of Mario, eh? That's pretty savage. What is this, a lava lamp? Ooh, it's Dark Mario. Galim copied the fallen fighters, creating empty puppets in their likenesses. Then, 
Galim forced the captive spirits to pull the puppet strings. Man, this is some dark stuff for a Nintendo game. This army of puppet fighters spread themselves across the last remaining world. Can anyone free the spirits from Galim's control? Uh, by anyone you mean Kirby. Look at Captain Falcon with his eyes being like super pointy. The journey to defeat Galim begins. Look at that beautiful world, man. I don't know. I think Galim made it better. I mean, sure, everybody died, but, you know, like Thanos said, sometimes it's required. <laughs> oh, okay, so there's like an overworld map here, kind of like thrown back to uh, Super Mario World or Super Mario old school games, or any old school RPG, I guess. Smoky Prog, all right, can't walk through them, I guess I gotta do it. Spirits are beings who bought, yeah, we already went through this. When you defeat a puppet fighter, you'll free the spirit trap within it. Free as many as you can. Primary spirits raise your fighter's attack and defense stat. So this is probably like in the other Smash Bros. games where you collected stickers or whatever and they boost your stats. It doesn't do anything in multiplayer, just in uh, single player. Alright. Let's go ahead and put some sticker things in there. Spirits. Let's fight. First gameplay, Lucian Sword playing Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Here we go, guys. And I'm Kirby. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The controls are so different from uh, Brawlhalla that I had to, like, try uh, many different control combinations. At first, I just left it default. And then I didn't like default, so I changed it to be, like, just like Super Smash Bros. And that was kind of awkward too, so then I just changed it to be like kind of in the middle. It's like my own custom thing now. Goodbye. Victory! Almost a flawless victory, I should say. Smoky Prog. I mean, I'm playing on normal. It said it would be formidable fighters, but I don't know. That was pretty, uh, pretty easy. Barely even touched me, man. Rescued spirits will join your cause. Each spirit is different, and each can help you in its own way. If a primary spirit has an open slot, you can attach a support spirit to it. So you can put spirits on your spirits? Supports have special skills, so experimenting with different spirit combinations is your best interest. Okay. I just want to fight, man. I don't know anything about those spirits. Let me fight, Nintendo. Hey. Wait, R is tilt? Oh, that didn't do much. Eevee? I get to fight Eevee? Let's boost up my party, man. There we go. I just do, uh, I push Y to like automatically pick the best spirits. Conditions. Only certain Pokemon will emerge from Pokeballs. Reinforcements will appear during battle. Ready? Go! By the way, guys, if you enjoy this World of Light playthrough. Go ahead and drop a like. Really helps me out. Or as we say here in Super Smash Bros. Land, Super Smash that like button, bros. Okay, that was a little cheesy, but it was still cool, right? Oh my gosh, Yoshi. I hit you with this flower, man. The only thing I don't like about this game that I like about Brawlhalla too is that you in Brawlhalla you can throw weapon or throw items any direction, but for some reason in Smash Bros you can only throw them up, down, left, or right. Not only that, I keep jumping instead of doing special. My bad, dude. I'm still learning the controls to be honest. I do like that, like when you kill somebody, it, it stops for a second. Oh, look how cute Eevee is. Look at all that stuff I got. All right, I don't know what any of it means, but thank you, Nintendo. Making me feel like I did a lot when I hardly did anything there. Um, I also like, I also think, oh, Celeste? Why are they making me fight all these cute people? All right, let's throw in the yarn, yarn puppy. That spirit's definitely gonna help me. The enemy favors down specials. Okay. 
I also think the dodging in this game is wonky compared to Brahalla. In Brahalla, you can dodge any direction, but in this game, you. Wait, wait. Oh my gosh, did Jigglypuff just rest me? That was savage. Come here, Jiggly. I want to. There we go. Why is this spike on me? Oh, I was holding it. <laughs> I'm so dumb. Oh yeah, I forgot about that jiggly side roll move. So, a little bit of background. I have played Super Smash Bros. In fact, I have probably more hours in the Super Smash Bros. than I do in Brawlhalla, believe it or not. Because I've been playing Smash Bros. since I was a kid. The first one on the N64, I played a ton. I played the Melee a ton. I played uh, Brawl a ton. Smash on Wii U, I didn't play as much because I didn't like it as much. Like, it was good, I just didn't like the Wii U that much. And then, you know, since Smash uh, for the Wii U, I've been playing a lot of Brawlhalla because, I don't know, they're just... I set my Wii U... Oh my gosh, Jiggly, please stop killing me that way. Yeah, get smashed! And then I got into Brawlhalla and the rest was history, man. I love Brawlhalla. Um... I think it's going to be fun to switch between uh, Smash Ultimate and Brawlhalla because sometimes I get bored of Brawlhalla and this, then I can play Smash Ultimate. I get bored of Smash Ultimate, I can play Brawlhalla. It, you know, I go back and forth. It'd be nice. I, I'm more competitive on Brawlhalla. I feel like I'm a lot better in Brawlhalla. Um, and Smash Ultimate, I feel like, is a great party game. It's a better party game. Like, somebody... Captive Fighters are being copied to create puppet... Yeah, I know that. Keep telling me things that it already told me. It just assumes that nobody's paying attention. That's kind of weird. <laughs> but, I mean, Sm I think Smash is a better party game that anybody can get into. People that aren't even, like, good at games. Whereas Brawlhalla, Ready? like, you can, but I feel like uh, it takes a little more know-how to be, like, liking the game. Um, one thing I do like about Smash is that you can grab the enemy. If I can do it. You can grab them and throw them, like, left, right, up, or down. So, I, I've only been able to play Kirby so far in this adventure mode. I wonder if I'll actually be able to play a different legend here pretty soon. Goodbye, Mario. Victory! So far, this is pretty easy. Mario joins the battle. Dang, I'm already level 19. If only I could level up my uh, Brawlhalla Legends that fast. <laughs> Everybody have black colors Legends like right away. Alright, I made it to the ruins. Ooh, Guardian. Uh, let's go ahead and upgrade the stickers again. So, so far, I gotta say the story mode is kind of boring. Conditions. The enemy has super armor, is hard to launch or make flinch. Stamina bar. Okay, I didn't even get to read it all. Whatever. Apparently, I start with the spike ball due to one of my items. Or spirits. Yo, Rob, you are like giant, dude. Rob, why you have so much dang health? Oh, he's got stamina to go down. I got you. Oh, that's right, Rob. I got you. Oh, Rob! Get wrecked. I actually really like playing against or playing as Rob. Rob is really fun. Kirby's like one of my worst characters too, by the way. Um, so I'm also gonna make Smash Bros. videos, uh, not just story mode, but I'm also gonna do the story mode. I want to do the whole walkthrough on the story mode. Fighters wait at each end of the crossroad ahead. Carefully consider which fighter to awaken first. Oh snap! Sheik, Marth, ooh. I'm gonna go Villager, man. I love Animal Crossing. And the, I'm actually good with the Villager. Yeah, okay, let's go. Let's go! Villager, demonize. Win the battle to awaken the fighter. So if I win, then I free him? Oh, 
Oh, you can turn directions while you're holding it? Good to know. Oh, is this what I think it is? I think it's one of those bombs. Oh! Definitely a bomb. Hey, I already had vill Villager unlocked, but thank you. Oh, it means for story mode, okay. So now I can pick Villager, got you. Use skill spheres to unlock skills that, I feel like they're adding all these things just to like add fluff to the fact that the story mode's kind of shallow. Like what are all these spirits and spheres and stickers, man? Come on. Wait, why is that hand on me? Oh dang, now I can't go that way? All right, whatever. Wait, can I actually uh, change characters now? Oh, okay. I didn't know I could change it any time. Thanks for letting me know, Nintendo. Let's go ahead and pick Villager. Let's do... Let's do this guy with the weird eyes. Oh, wait, why does it say player one? No, 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 no. Go back to Lucian. So I gotta say, man, I tried playing online and I was, like, lagging pretty bad. Half the time. It was pathetic. Tilt attack. Slightly increase the power of tilt attack. Uh, Alright, let's just do this one, sure. Villager is fun. That much is a fact. Alright guys, this will probably be my last fight in this video. No worries, I'll be making another video continuing Ready? this adventure. I heard that it's actually pretty decent uh, story mode. I also heard that... I gotta remember... Gosh, I keep forgetting the controls. I also heard that the end is like amazing. I wanna just chop my tree, dude. I, I just wanna water my tree, dang it. Are you kidding me? I got absolutely destroyed there, dude. Rematch. I'm not ending like that. <laughs> I just wanted to water my tree, bullies. At least the loading time is pretty fast. And I say that. And of course, this is the longest loading screen so far. Okay, I got this. Tree. Let's go. Oh, that's right. Yeah, that's right. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, you messed up. Oh, what? Hold my cannonball, sir. <laughs> Tron Bonnie? Bone? I don't even know who half these people are, dude. Dang, I'm leveling up fast, though. Maybe there's no cap to levels. Alright, guys, well... Hope you enjoyed this little, uh, little, little taste of Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Honestly, this game is massive. There's so much to it, as you can probably already tell. Um, alright, let's go check this out real quick. I'm gonna see what's over here. Oh, okay, what, wait. Lilina, and what's over here? Octoling, alright. Alright, let's go, wait, how do I quit? Wait. I can't quit? Save? Oh, okay, there we go. So, let me show you guys a little bit else. Oh, oh! Is that who I think it is? That's my favorite character, if I'm right. It looks like Captain Falcon. He is my legit main. From Smash 64. Oh my gosh, I'm nervous. Come on, Lucian, you can't mess up now. Come up here, Falcon. No! Jump! Jump! 
Oh, now you do it. Oh my gosh, villager, you're so bad. Nah, he's good. I'm just actually bad with him. Once I learn these controls a little better, guys, watch out. I'm gonna be dominating some fools in here. Oh my gosh, please don't kill me. I'm dead. Are you kidding me? No, I'm not dead. Though I, I probably will be dying soon. I keep using the special instead of jump. Yes! I hit him in the butt! I hit him in the butt with the bowling ball. And now I got Captain Falcon. I'm screenshotting. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, feels good, man. What fate, what destiny that my first Smash Bros. Ultimate video... I've been unlocking characters all morning, but the first time I actually record a video, I get my main. That is awesome. Alright. Alright. Ooh, that's a cool... I actually like, like uh, uh, what's her name, Rosalina. She's a fun, fun player as well. Played Adventure Mode for the first time, alright. So yeah, let's go ahead and take a look at my legends I have unlocked so far. One thing I do like, uh, let me go back for a second. You can create your own custom rule set and save it. Like I made this one called Duel, and you can just save it and then you don't have to remake the rule set every time. That's pretty nice. Look how many levels there are, guys. If you're like me, most of these are annoying, so you can just go up here and either make them all Battlefield type or um, all Final Destination type. For some reason, you pick the level before you pick your legend, which is, I don't know, kind of weird to me. These are all the legends I have so far, guys. Pretty dope. Link from uh, Breath of the Wild. Zelda from... I think it's like a Link Between Worlds, or no, it's the painting one on the DS, I forget what it's called. Um, she looks kind of, I don't know, I wish they would have done the Zelda from Breath of the Wild too, because that, that Zelda is awesome. Young Link, also one of my favorites from Ocarina of Time, my favorite game of all time. Inkling from Splatoon, Shulk is always good. But yeah. Wait, oh, Captain Falcon, dude. Captain Falcon. Finally I got Captain Falcon. All the old colors are here. Nice, nice. You got the white falcon in the old games. It looked like he had pink nipples, but I don't know. It looks like they may have taken that off. Alright, guys. Well, <laughs> I hope you enjoyed. This is Lucian Sword. I will see you in the next video. Take it easy, guys.